Hey, this is Spencer from the Canix Hardware Department, and today I'm going to show you how to look for a specific set of tags uh, using Zebra's 123 RFID app and your Zebra RFID wand, and a CSV that you'll grab from Canix to upload to the app to tell it uh, what you're looking for. This is a little different than the RFID audit within the Canix app, uh, because you're looking for a set number of tags, and it'll tell you how close or far you are. So first thing you want to do is grab that CSV of the tags you're looking for from Canix. I'm looking for everything in my drying room right now. So I have a couple tags here. I'm going to download that table and then you have to clean it up a little bit because it's only expecting the tag numbers. Uh, so just delete anything that is not the tag numbers themselves. So that is the uh, rows at the top and then all other columns again besides the tag number. Since this is outside the official Canix mobile app, there's a little extra cleanup to do here uh, because the Zebra app is only looking for uh, the tag numbers there. So once you have just the numbers there, you're going to export to CSV and then you're going to save it without the table names to either iCloud Drive or Dropbox. Both are accessible through Zebra123 RFID and if you don't have either of them, a free Dropbox account can fit a whole lot of CSVs. They're very small files uh, and that's a great way to get uh, the data from Canix into um, Zebra123 RFID. So now I'm in Zebra123 RFID, the app. I've already connected it uh, in the last video, so I don't have to worry about that, but I'm going to go to Locate Tag and then Multi-Tag, and in the bottom right, you'll see a piece of paper with a plus sign. That's going to open up iCloud Drive or Dropbox, so you can submit the CSV that you made uh, in order to look for the tags that you included on your CSV. So. I'll click that and you'll see my tags. And now that I start scanning, uh, the tags are reporting back approximately where they are um, in relation to me. So if I'm getting strong numbers, it means I'm really close and they're probably in the room with me based on what my antenna settings are at. Um, but if it's getting a different number, uh, that might mean that I am too far away. Maybe it's in a different room. Uh, you can scan multiple times uh, in order to get um, the best reading possible uh, and, and kind of get like a consensus of which ones are in the room. You'll see it jump around a lot, um, but it's very directional. Uh, it's always going to depend on where you're pointing the device. Uh, so that's a different alternative to the uh, RFID audit we have in the Canix mobile app. Uh, just based on your questions uh, regarding looking for specific sets of tags, uh, this is the best way to totally exclude it for even looking uh, for other tags because RFID is always searching. Those tags uh, have a very small brain that anytime the signal sent out from the wand that activates them just enough to report where they are. Um, so if you never send signal to those specific tags, they'll never report where they are. That way you don't have to worry about discrepancies um, or having to weed out uh, readings from the RFID audit. You can just be looking for exactly what you want to be looking for in whatever room you're physically in.